How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, it's very windy outside. Well, let me show you how windy it is. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's a little bit windy. Sam's out there giving her a dangle already. Hey Sam. Yeah, this is freaking brutal, but I am back in South Dakota and we decided, you know, we're gonna take it back and do a little bit of old school stuff here. Normally, well lately we've been going out in boats and you guys haven't really liked those videos. So we're like, let's be more relatable. Let's go grind some shore walleye. So that's the plan for today. Shore walleye fishing in South Dakota in waders. Uh, and we picked the worst day possible to do it. It's literally blowing 30 miles an hour right now. And uh, yeah, it's this is not gonna be fun. I don't even know if we're gonna catch anything. And I wanna apologize beforehand about the audio. Not only are we gonna be doing some walleye fishing, later tonight we decided we're gonna to go to my parents' property up here in northern South Dakota and do a little bit of truck camping because we wanna spend eh, the next couple days out here chasing these short walleye. So it wouldn't make sense to drive like two and a half, three hours back down south to my parents' house and stay or at Sam's house. And we're like, you know what? Let's make a trip out of it. Let's truck camp up here and fish. But guys, before we go any farther, today's video is gonna be brought to you by the Guggen Squad. As you're gonna see, we're gonna be using their whole setup today. I got their line on, I got their rod, and I'm gonna be using the Saucy Swimmer. So if you guys wanna check out any of their stuff, it'll be linked down below. Make sure to use code MINDAC at checkout, and you guys can save 10% off your order. But I'm gonna get geared up here, get a little bit warmer, and let's see if we can grind some fish. All right, this wind's about to be brutal, boys. I'm sorry. All right, boys, we're going to start getting after it here again. I'm sorry about the wind. I'm going to do, you know, my best to try to make it bearable for you guys. But today I am using the Guggen Squad Gold Series rod. OK, this is their finesse spinning rod. Very nice. Been clapping some walleyes on it of all sizes and it's handled everything very nice. And then paired on it, I got a little saucy swimmer right there. OK, 3.3 inch. And that's all we're doing today, man. I got some Guggen Squad line on. I think it's like 15 pound braid. And then I got a 15 pound to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's one of the two. Not really sure exactly which one it is, but you know what? We're just gonna get after it. I think these fish here like it when you cast it out and then give it like a slow retrieve and then maybe some pops here and there. So hopefully we can make something happen here. First cast, Ugh. Well, with the wind, you can at least cast a mile. So that's a plus, but we're gonna let it sink down. Just give some reels right here like this. Maybe a couple pops here and there. And yeah, hopefully we can catch some fish. <laughs> Blow away, brother. <laughs> it's crusty. Hey, homies. Um, Sam and I spent 20 minutes fishing there, and uh, it didn't pass the vibe check, as Sam Lim would like to say, right? Yeah, I did not. No. So, being that we are in northern South Dakota, um, we have the luxury of lake hopping, and there's a bunch of lakes around here that hold these little critters we like to call walleyes. So, we're actually going to skip over to a different lake and hopefully it's a little bit better there, but it's still probably going to be windy. But hey, we're going to crush some fish. We're not, probably not. What the Sam hell is going on up here? I know you guys can't see much because, well, I don't have my zoom lens on, but those are cows and we're at a standstill because there's cows in the road. I mean, those dudes are getting after it right now. Do you know why the cows didn't cross the road? Why? I don't know. How's that joke go? Dude, all of these cows literally got loose from the Dutton Ranch. John, Rip, and the boys have a lot of work to do. Well, boys, we just made it to spot number two. Um, how's the wind feel out there? Better than the first spot. Yeah, it feels a lot less over here. Um, there's some white caps out here though, but Sam's actually been here before and caught fish. So we feel better about this spot than we did about spot one, but we're gonna have to get after it. 
All right, we're gonna catch fish at this spot. 20 bucks. No, we ain't. We're definitely not gonna catch fish here. There's also a lot of snags at this spot. As you guys can see, the tree limbs, a uh, great sign of snags. IG pick. Crank <laughs> it, dude. Let's get him up to shore here. That's a nice pike in anyone's book. Look at that thing wallow around in that water. Oh, Literally like second cast, dude. Oh, that thing is heavy. Okay, look at that beautiful pike. Barely hooked. Came right out. Not a giant, but he's probably a good, I don't know, 28, 26 inch fish. Brother, what did you catch? I agree, sir. Look at that thing. Is that, that thing a beauty? You're a beauty. Oh, thanks, Papa. It's fat. Yeah, it's a bunch of food. Nice looking fish right there, brother. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Feel the pike. Just get your back in the water, buddy. Is it gonna splash us? Oh yeah. That's a real question. Whoa! See ya, buddy. Whoo! My hands are cold, brother. That water is cold. Well, finally, after 10 bazillion hours, we caught a fish. Not the right species. Looking for walleyes, but that's a start. Eventually. Hey, how's it going, guys? A little update. There's no update. Sam and I have not caught anything since Sam caught that pike. And the wind is just really bad out here. And we're thinking if the walleyes are biting, we go to caught one by now. So I think we're gonna take this time to drive back to one of my parents' properties up here, um, up north, and set up the tent and film that process so it's not too laid out when we're filming that. So that's the plan right now. Fishing with cheeks, but hey, you know, we came out here, we tried grinding for you guys and we just couldn't get it done. But there's always tomorrow. We're gonna go back, set the tent up, and see you guys in a little bit. Yeah! In a little bit. More like an hour. A little longer than a few minutes later. Goodness gracious, guys. Sam and I just made it to the property. It's freaking cold out here. Yep, still windy, but we found some trees that we're gonna camp by. Uh, to make it a little bit less windy because you don't want a big rattling thing going on uh, when you're sleeping. So let's uh, check this out. Poppy, it's cold. Let's get this tent up the whole sun. So this is Sam's, the bed of Sam's truck. We got some stuff in there. Yeah. And you're telling me a tent goes right here. Oh God, yeah. We're gonna be cuddling in the bed of the truck tonight, boy oh. Walleyes on these. Prick. I'm upset, buddy. We got a whole bunch of beers in here. That did be some fishy water. What's step number one? Do we get this fucked out? Get this. Oh, 
Okay. It's easier to do it on the ground. Okay. Tightening down the rain jacket. What up? What's up, all son? It's warm in here. Dude, the tent actually looks pretty fire. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, guys. If you guys haven't seen Sam's truck tent before, this is what it is. And I mean, honestly, dude, it's pretty spacious. We managed to fit two cots in there, which we weren't sure if we were going to be able to do that. But look at that, son. We made dude. it happen, brother. Oh, God, yeah. So as I was saying earlier, Sam and I chose this spot because this is one of my parents' properties up north. Um, it's literally just a gravel road with some like surrounding trees. There's also some other neighbors down that way and behind us. Um, we haven't really developed this land yet, but we are thinking in the future we're going to build a cabin up here or something like that. But for right now, um, it's just a gravel road. If you guys are curious why it looks so weird and why there's lights in the background, it's because uh, it's up north, just not developed yet. So um, we got this all set up. That actually didn't take very long. I think if I look at my, my clock right here, it took us probably about 15 to 20 minutes, which is not bad. So setup on this bad boy is pretty good. We're gonna have high winds tonight, as you guys can already maybe hear in the background. Um, so we're gonna see how this thing holds up in the winds. Well, there's two of us, and no offense to you, but you're pretty heavy, so I think they'll, I don't, I don't know. Hard to say, I don't think this tent will go anywhere, though, with John in here. Wow, you just really added me like that. Oh yeah, I bodied you, brother. Oh yeah, that wind just sounds great. It's there's great the will, night. there's the way. Brother, what I say. are you struggling over there? We got it. We're locked in. Dude. 20, 24 hour, uh, Small tent, two men, challenge. Bro, low key, it's pretty nice in here. Yeah, it is. Like we can fully lay out and uh, like, you know, sleep in here. Um, we got the sleeping bags. We got some pretty heavy duty ones today. I'm gonna sleep in my clothes. I should be back, cause it's just for like one night. One thing I did not bring was like my camping lights that I can attach to the top of tents, which that would have made, made this pretty bougie, more bougie. -er. Well, I brought mine. Oh, you did? But they're out of batteries. Oh, they're out of batteries. So yeah. see, you know, that doesn't do us much good, but I also forgot the Jackery. Uh, however, we have little like power bank thingies that we're gonna charge our phones with and stuff. Um, and it should just be fine. But before we came here, we actually stopped and ate some dinner. So that's why you didn't see us making anything tonight was because we we're too lazy, too cold, too disappointed after catching only one pike. We decided, you know what, let's stop at this A&W up here and eat. And we ate some glizzies and hot dogs and hamburgers and all that good stuff. But we do have a little late night snack right here, as you guys can see. We got some Uncle Buck's Bass Pro Shop Sweet 
and nutty snack mix that we're going to be munching on. Come on. <laughs> the M&M's, brother. Are you one of those guys that just picks out the freaking M&M's? No, here, look. I'll eat a raisin. Let me see it. No, yeah, that's raisin. Yep. Raisin, can we confirm? Yep. Mm. Wow. Oh, I love raisins. Oh, chocolate chip got in there. Oops. Some peanuts. Oops. Fun fact. 10 almonds is like equivalent to like one Advil. <laughs> dude, I'm what not the joking, heck? Dude. Sam Lane comes oh. up with the dumbest things. I'm gonna need some Advil because I got a headache listening to you. Dude, there's no way that's true. <laughs> oh my God. But we're gonna tuckle in here. As you can see, we got the cots in here. It'll fully lay out like this. And we're about to have ourselves a relaxing rest of the evening. Probably just gonna rip on TikToks, honestly, not do much else, and go to bed here. I will grab the camera if something crazy happens, like Sam Squatch tries to eat us or something. He wants some trail mix. Uh, yeah, or he might want some trail mix. But other than that, guys, Sam and I are going to go to bed and wake up tomorrow morning and make some breakfast and then probably skedaddle on out of here because we got some more, hopefully, walleyes to catch. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The next morning. Well, good morning, guys. It is uh, currently the next day, and Sam and I just woke up. Um, it's actually surprisingly pretty warm in here. Last night actually got a little too hot, so I had to crack the door. As you can see, there's some door crackage. Sam, how'd you sleep last night? Good. The wind died down around, I don't even know what time it was, probably like 4 or 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was expecting some rain but we didn't get any rain yet. So that is a good sign. But my allergies are absolutely murking my nose right now. Well, there you heard Sam Lehman. Allergies are murking his nose. But uh, now that Sam, are, Sam and I are up, I think, something in my mouth. Um, we're going to take one of these cots out and set up a little kitchen in here and do some cooking inside the tent. Um, and make some breakfast tacos for you guys, so stay tuned. What's up, boys? All right, there's not that much headroom, but got my grill here. The old, the old camp chef looks like a beast. We're gonna start making some food here. Yeah. I know. I'm And that turkey meat. All right, trying to be a little healthier. Got some uh, ground turkey, a little bit healthier than ground beef, so we love that. Dump that in here. Dump your onions in the. Uh, um... I love to dump my onions. Oh, yes, sir. Peppers. Yeah, onions and peppers. Dump it all in there. All of it? Oh. The peppers. Yes, sir. Four. Oh. Ah, daddy. Yeah. Some cheese too. Oh yeah. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, turkey breakfast tacos in a truck tent. Come on, best way to start a morning. We did pretty good, I would say. Um, not, yeah, minus the fishing. I mean, this video turned more into a uh, cooking video with John and Sam. But hey, I'm all right with that because I'm freaking hungry. It's been a while since we ate. Is it good? Well, it's fire. See, I think it's good. I'm gonna go in for a little taste test here. The salsa definitely makes it. Mmm. Wow. Can't have a good breakfast burrito without some salsa, right? Mm-hmm. That's really good. I did buy, like, these healthy tortillas. It's like carb-healthy tortillas. They're only like 110 calories um, per tortilla. So, I think you can taste the healthiness in them, but if, if we had like regular flour ones, these would probably be even better, you know what I mean? I don't know, I think it's still fire. Oh, it's definitely still fire. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty gas. That was pretty good. <laughs> For like sitting in a tent, making turkey tacos, and you can see we got plenty leftovers, so. Today when we're out trying to walleye fish for you guys to create some more content, um, we're gonna have a little midnight snack or a eat half half day uh, lunch snack. I don't know, English is hard. But that is where we're gonna end today's video. Um, you know, Sam and I both wish the fishing would have been a little bit better. Yeah. But it was kind of butt cheeks. However, it was just fun getting out and filming with Sam and uh, fishing with him because I don't do that very much often anymore. Um, so anytime that we get together is always a good time. Drop a comment down below if you want to see more brother videos. I'm going to be here for another probably week or week and a half. So we're going to try to go really hard for you guys and get some content. The problem is right now the weather in South Dakota, it's so bad. It's literally blowing like 30 miles an hour every day. I'm not even like exaggerating. It's, it's literally like that. Um, and the, it's just been so cold that brought the water temperatures back down and it's got all of these fish messed up. So hopefully we can find a consistent bite here in the near future and some better weather, but I have nothing else really to say. Sam, do you have anything to say on that? No. You had a good time though? Oh God. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. Get a nice snot rocket though. Yes. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the pike. Oh, we love pike. But it's guys. Make sure, if you guys want to check out these guys right here, they'll be linked down below. Use code MINDAC to save some money at checkout and uh, get out and catch some spring fish. It's a great time of year. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.